All right, so the very first thing we want to do is to install the Create React App Package. If you haven't done that yet, on your machine you can type npm install dash g for global create react app. I won't do that here because it's already installed on the machine. If you haven't done that, go ahead and do this and then come back to the video. Once we've got that installed, we will start by creating an empty folder, which I'll call baby names. I will cd into that folder. And now in here, we can create our app, like you guess, with create react app. And let's call it baby dash names. That will be the name of the application. Press enter. This will take a little while to install, so I'll fast forward and see you on the other end of it. All right, looks like we're done. We can see here, npm start starts the development server. Let's just type, try to type npm start, press enter. Hey, classic error, and you're all gonna do this at some point. I forgot to cd actually into the app name. There is here the baby names package and I need to cd into baby dash names, which I just installed. So let's clear that up. Take number two, npm start. It should just fire my browser, default browser, which in my case is Google Chrome on port 3000 localhost. Here we go. We have a welcome to react app. Beautiful. It even tells us that to get started, you can edit the app.js. All right, I'll just close the server for a split second so I can open this in Sublime Text to see what's there. Okay, so basically, Create React App hides all the tooling and all you've got that you focus on is that SRC folder with the app folder. The first thing you need to understand with React is to display on screen, your component need to render somewhere in a HTML document. We have an index.html file here. And you can see that inside the body tag, there is a div with the ID of root. This div here is going to be used to render the React app inside that div. Music